okay ah there you go Ta -da! yeah so they here they are we just played a song by them <laughs> the one with the beautiful colors and by the way just so you know my my name on social media is color me Val. so i appreciate mm. colors wow. very very much yeah <laughs> awesome awesome kai bunisana studio thank you Sandy. please do start by introducing <coughs> yourselves to the people uh okay so my name is main mm -hmm. uh from the group prince square empire mm -hmm. i'm an artist uh, a rapper mm -hmm. and uh yeah that's uh who i am <laughs> <laughs> and you are my name is prince park mm -hmm. i'm also an artist and the prince square empire mm -hmm. I'm a rapper and also I do vocals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes. Ooh, say una kosea kuniambia vitu zingine because what happens if I just feel some thirst and I want you to sing for me? Will you do? Ooh. <laughs> just well, a little bit. Unfortunately, say hizi kuna homa. Aha, at least Lucy da wetoka kuniambia three this size there na homa. I forgive you. I forgive you, but the next time you see me you'll know what's up, right? Okay, yeah. So please introduce the other two who are not in front of the screen today. Yeah, okay. So the other two, uh one is called Telvinsky. Mm -hmm. He's also a, uh he's a vocalist. He's the one who does most of our hooks mm -hmm. or the choruses in our songs. And uh, the other one is Tabon, mm -hmm. uh, a very dope rapper. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's also a, a good songwriter and uh, even a vocal zoom, but he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, one of them is shy. It's Tabon. Yeah, lies. He's, a, he's the lies. shyest one in the group. Oh, please. <laughs> lies. I could have sworn, guys, I've, I've interviewed him before, but either I know another Starborn or I know another star something, <laughs> but I was very convinced. But Kumbe is so quelly. But hi, Zuro. How do we find you guys in Unity on social media? Uh, you'll find us on Prince Crew. Prince Crew uh, on YouTube, it's Prince Crew Empire. Uh, on Facebook, the same Prince Crew Empire. Instagram is Prince Crew underscore Empire. And Twitter is Prince Crew Empire. Mm -hmm. Prince Crew EMPR. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's all our social media handles. Can I start by asking you a question? This is just For based sure. on my own personal curiosity. Mm -hmm. <coughs> First of all, shout out to Lorna the Rapper and Monaco TV. Hey, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Any gospel now? What one a shifty side again? Nah, sinu juu kitu ni Lorna. Haja ni simtaji jina juu ni Monaco WhatsApp yango. Maybe he's not that open with it yet, but I'm seeing gospel artists moving to this other side. What are you still doing on this other side? Well, um, I don't know about other people. I told you about those people who have uh, ditched gospel like, and uh, secular. We don't know their purpose. And you gospel, you're gonna find any. But for us, we feel like I don't talk to a gospel to a chianani. Sasa, this is what I talk to a gospel to a chianani. We feel like there is a generation that is yearning for the gospel music and for us we uh, we sing for a younger generation that is coming up because uh as you can see right now so many people yes who are much gospel or men secular and the target audience is the young people mm -hmm. so for us even uh as by the music we do let's say hip hop gospel or let's say afro it's a sound that really connects to the young people. Mm -hmm. So for us, we still believe there is a, there is grace mm -hmm. that uh, the young people will uh, will be saved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Do you feel compelled to be in the gospel industry? Because there's some people I interview. No, Kim Skiza, Anasema, okay, ali alianza na secular, but Jubaba ni reverend. Na tangu kumtumia shua ali kuanyumba utambi anini wat. Yeah. Is, is it compulsory you now because maybe a family member is, is a deacon somewhere or has some type of role in the church, now you must and must and must be in the gospel industry? Um, I can say that, uh, yeah, uh, growing up in a Christian household does play a role. But uh, considering now we are grown ups, I mean, you can make your own decisions. Uh, at Akama, you're in your father's household or your mother's household them being a, a bishop or a reverend or a pastor does not really uh it should not really like force you or uh, make you feel obligated to now okay since i'm an artist and my dad is this type of person at church i i have to do this mm -hmm. to to maybe uphold the image that uh he already has mm -hmm. 
So I don't think that, like being grown ups, you can make your own decision. Mm -hmm. Like uh, for us now, we, as much as yes, I personally have grown up in a Christian household. Uh, his dad is a pastor. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, but uh, when you when you look at uh, our story, we didn't really. Uh, it's not really that it started being a gospel group because of our backgrounds, but. Uh, Neo, our, our backgrounds did play a role, but then as we moved on, or rather as we grew up, we realized that uh, you know we're not really doing this because of where we, uh, because of our parents, but it's because of uh, you know the knowledge that we have of the Word, the knowledge that we have of God, and uh, you know the whole salvation, uh, the whole salvation thing, and we just want to do it to, you know, just uphold the gospel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, very diplomatic answer. <laughs> A while ago, we had a question on our socials, and we were just trying to check our mental health. So we asked, what do you do to feel better when you're down? And not one said, I pray. Now, I'm quite sure maybe even all of them do pray, but when they're feeling down, it's either music, and I don't know exactly what kind of music it is, so it could be either secular or gospel, but music, external things, and, and I'm not again condemning you I'm just trying to convey a message so someone will probably want to take a sip of something to feel better to feel relaxed is this alarming because these are all young people and and life is beating all of us young or old okay the, the economy is ridiculous yeah. <laughs> as we're speaking we're in a transition so it's a bit iffy even on the ground is it not alarming that hey when things go when push comes to shove it's not at his sleep or pray or something it's ah acha nini nika bai ako kanini alafu ndo nitatulea for me i think uh, is it this era or this generation we have become so um, we have become so secular than that we no longer even consider God in anything that we do. I can say that, especially the young people on a part are like squeezy. Even the people when you really grow up or you are in Christian households, so easy, they are no longer going to church, they are no longer praying. The trend has become ni share, ni party. So, mutu wa kiwa down, the only thing I feel and is I rely on to calm themselves down is either liquor, maybe share but at the end of the day it has not changed anything no but at the end of the day you'll find people are growing when i was 15 years ago i'm not the same i'm not thinking like i was 15 years ago the same way my age right now i won't be by the time i'm reaching 35 i'll be thinking different i'll mature enough so i'll see life different mm -hmm. so you see people they don't think about the future that just thinking about right now, this current era, it's a trend, it's peer pressure, it's also there. So you'll find that uh, by the time it reaches 30, they need to catch up with, uh, with life. Mm -hmm. Now, people will go back to God because at the end of the day, people need God. God hey. does not need us. Uh -huh. We are the ones who need God. It's true. Yeah. We've had a conversation once talking about how there are some second or first world countries that are even removing the word, uh, you know, God from their constitution and things like that. And it's about, Ushai pigwa na shida hadi ukasama. God, if you're there, if you can hear me, even if, 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 to nito etu wapa, please, please. Let me take it back a little bit. When I was growing up, I was younger than I was. <laughs> and I was looking at Christianity. At the time, it wasn't really a teach your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. But yeah, that song makes sense. Not when you are total, but it makes sense. It wasn't that for me. It was, eh, nanini gospel artist. So, tumwangalia ye, vene yufa, yufa, ya jupia, mesama mauko, amaukoka. So let's emulate them, and perhaps maybe, tutapata au kaupako, because when I used to see them on TV, I think, wow, you done made it. Eh, you don't need anything else. And then a scandal comes out, or, you know, we're human, but at the time I was young. Like you said, I, I was thinking a bit different then. But that's how some people are thinking now. Like, just because you said you are a gospel artist or you are fully in this particular limelight 
Now when you make a mistake, it affects my view of, mm. of the whole of Christianity as, speak to those people. <laughs> uh, yeah, so <laughs> uh, just speaking to those people, then I'd say that uh, um, being uh, a Christian, like Christians are supposed to support each other, yes. And uh, that's what the fellowship is for. But then uh, the only person that we should look up to is Jesus because he's the one who God gave to us as, a, as a, you know, the beacon of hope, the person we should all look up to. And uh, you know, when people uh, now base their faith on someone else, another human, then that's where they lose direction. Because you forget that, uh, yeah, this person is just a messenger of uh, you know, the gospel. It's not that they are the gospel. So at the end of the day, they're still human. And uh, you know, they, they, they will fall, they will uh, fall into temptations, they will do mistakes, but uh, it's, not really, uh, it's not really them that you should be looking at, but it's Jesus who you should be, who you should be looking at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so at, uh, I really just uh, urge people to, when, when, you're, when, you're, uh, when you're building your faith, you need to base your faith on the word of God. You need to base your faith on Jesus himself and not other people. Because like, as you all know, like people will fail you. Uh, time and again, people will fail you. But then we should not really, like the, the only reason that uh, even the church exists is so that we can be able to support each other when we fall, not to bash, it, uh, not to bash each other. Mm -hmm. Because that's what people do, you know, like when a, a, a big artist, let's say uh, a, a well-known artist, a gospel artist uh, per se, uh, I mean, Julicano for a while, you know, they've been putting out hit songs, gospel mm -hmm. songs, but on a skiza, people are getting, you know, a change of heart and all that. But then something happens and uh, what, uh, one of their flaws come to light. And it will be a flaw, not just a flaw. It will <laughs> exactly. be like, oh, yeah. as if we don't have it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, so you see, uh, the only difference between the two of us, I'd say, is that they, uh, they are well known, meaning they're in the public eye, meaning anything they do is, uh, it's very easy for it to be known to other people. Mm -hmm. But then the other person who is not in the public light, they can still be in the same uh, boat, you know, making the same mistakes or maybe even worse. But because they're not in the public light, no one knows mm -hmm. and it's safe for them. Mm -hmm. So I can say that, uh, you know, people shouldn't be judging each other. As mm -hmm. Christians, we're supposed to be supporting each other. I may fall today but you should be there to pick me up and show me the right way to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. There's like a brother, there's a fellowship like you said. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You help me, I help you. Yes, and we do it all to the glory of God. Eh, skiata neza kwa pasta anytime, guys. Woo! Hashtag this Thursday vibes. Talk to me about the returns because yes, uh, it's gospel, you want to inspire, but it's, you know business at the end of the day and we're trying to make money out of it mm -hmm. come on please everyone has to eat everyone has to look nice no it was planned so how do you plan out your 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 group let's say mm. so uh it's a good question because uh, a lot of people feel like uh, now because gospel is no more gospel is not paying you know gospel has no shows but uh, they forget that uh, there are so many ways to earn, either you are in gospel or in you are in secular. So for us, we are uh, actually, we earn through our digital platform streams, whereby our music is being distributed on uh, digital platforms on mm. iTunes, Spotify, and uh, Deezer. Those are platforms that mm. are not free. Those are platforms that are, uh, when you want to stream a song, you have to pay for it. It's not like YouTube, mm -hmm. whereby you can stream or you can watch a view for free, mm -hmm. of which also YouTube, it pays. But for us, our YouTube is not that well uh, subscribed. Yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. But we really earn from the digital platforms, streaming platforms, and also some of the shows that we, we go to, churches, we perform. Yeah, those are like our earning uh, places where where we get our money from i did not know churches pay like you if they ask you to for an event they actually pay. they don't pay you in exposure <laughs> talking about just history especially and i guess uh 
fear ina depend venye you just present yourself because there are some churches i can say they take advantage naimba gospel naifanyia mungu so why are you charging us mm-hmm. they forget that these videos we shoot they cost us money the studios we go to they cost us money mm-hmm. so before they even decide to book us mm-hmm. we have to we have to sometimes we have to tell them this is this and this and this smart yeah you smart putting your foot down before any shaky Anything, shaky yeah. things happen yeah exactly <sighs> Yes, hashtag is Thursday vibes. When you pen down lyrics, and I'm asking because, okay, in, if I could translate it to myself, there's a danger of me watching someone I look up to, whatever capacity it could be, presenter, I'm a news anchor, or whatever. There's a danger that if I watch them enough, I'll start doing things they do. My body language will somehow morph in terms of kusema gratitude and sort of, I don't know. When you pen your lyrics, as much as you look up to people, both locally and internationally, where where are you getting your inspiration from? Where are you looking? Mm. Where are you getting it from? <laughs> uh-huh. uh, okay, well, I can say, uh, and we even having a discussion about this a while back. Uh, when okay, personally, when I write my lyrics, I I feel like uh, they just come from uh, I'd say the Holy Spirit, yeah, because. Sometimes I just write and it's like, am I, after I'm done writing, I'm like, Yanni, I'm the one who wrote this. I don't even know <laughs> how it happened. Mm-hmm. So yeah, sometimes I can just say that uh, it, it comes from above. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the miracles from above. But then the, the uh, you know, it also uh, comes together differently from different places. The music you listen to, the people you talk to, the people, the places you go, the books you read. So everything just, uh, you know, all the information you gather from out there stays in your head. Mm-hmm. And now that's where uh, you, now you, you, you start writing from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because uh, you see our process is different uh, from probably other people's. Uh, when, we're, when we're writing our music, uh, what we do mostly is uh, we, we, we get different beats and uh, we listen to the beat and then we're like, okay, I, I want to write to this beat. Mm-hmm. So the beat also comes into play in the kind of song that you will write. Yeah. So, I mean, mm-hmm. that's, it's, a, it's a different <coughs> process for everyone. So it's not really forced. It's not like one day you'll have writer's block. You will. You, I, I personally have writer's block. Well, I, <laughs> yeah. What do you do when you do? Uh, I just stop, mm-hmm. do other things and uh, get back to it when I can. Ah, so it's, for, okay, this is just me imagining. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've tried, you've tried, you've tried. It's not coming together. So, and this is just, mm-hmm. please, wahalimi. Okay, so juika or you lima, but this is an example. So, wende ulime, and in the process, you will see something, and then suddenly, now the pieces will come together, and mm-hmm. then, baba, what you were looking for previously will just, yes. it's magic. Ah, yes, it, okay. it's, it's magic. It's magic. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. and then when it comes like that, that, you have to find a way to put it down. Immediately. Because it can Immediately. disappear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it, I get it. <laughs> How do you manage all the characters in the group? Because it's not easy, first of all, um, being more than one person. I mean, it's, it's easy to manage yourself. I tell, I'm saying this because at a mimi mwenye you disappoint. So, nikuambia, if I've disappointed you, sijam sana, ju ata mimi mwenye muji disappoint. It's very inevitable. So, how do you manage all the characters? Like, for example, Nikki Jitumia Mimi, that, that sometimes when someone comes to me, it's, it's a challenge for me to just listen. Because where I come from, we're problem solvers. So you tell me something, I will immediately think of like five ways of how we can fix it. But maybe, or you don't want to hear all that. You just want someone to listen. So yes, there's a bit of me that I'm working on. So how mm-hmm. do you manage? Because <laughs> <laughs> you've stayed long enough. So how do you manage all those characters? without finding friction somewhere? What I can say is, uh, I, I really thank God, like, all of us, we have like, uh, same, what, I can, what can I say? Nikamatukona, same belief system, we have same desires. Yes, everybody has their own, like, their own vision out of the group. We have one vision of the group and they have the different uh, opinions or let's say desires, visions of their groups, of their personal lives. But we come together in the group, group matters now, you'll find like 
when he comes with an idea i can relate with it it's so easy for me to relate with this idea with stubborn's idea with telvinsky's idea because i find like oh looks like we are thinking the same mm. you know it's like it's a parallel thinking we are thinking like the same unapata idea nyenye nakuja we share with it inakuwa the same alafu another thing that has played a part for that to grow is because tumejuana since way before we did not just came and then to come to we 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 met in high school oh. same class desk mates because he was desk mate with Telvin I was a uh, desk mate with Stubborn mm-hmm. so unapata we grew before even the group started mm-hmm. we were friends before mm-hmm. so we we created that bond it grew unapata like we, we are just like brothers you know it's like when i ask you your relationship with your mother let's say for example you have some misunderstandings yes you love some misunderstandings you'll jam you'll be like utajam utakuwa utaboeka but at the end of the day she's your mother that's the same with us unapata kuna issues nini na nini but at the end of the day tena ndo hao sisi my my mother is very african so nikija na jamming like uwezi muongelesha bye you cannot if hata uwezi fanya hivi the last time tulifanya hivyo i I was almost <laughs> okay you okay, take the example yeah. of your siblings now <laughs> yeah but I, i get it i get it i get that there's always going to be a point where you don't agree on a exactly. particular thing but that doesn't mean you stop being friends mm. don't be um you know business partners and all this tell me about the collabs you guys have had because i've seen one with Lona the rapper and, and I told you i'm a very big fan they were they were in a group once mm. but i think um kind of people just grew on their own So tell me about and is that going to happen to you guys but that's a different, different <laughs> question is that yeah. with the features mm-hmm. uh, okay so some of the features that we've done we ha- we haven't done a lot of features of collaborations with different artists uh, i think we only have three uh, main features that we've done so we've worked with uh, uh we've worked with Milome who was in the group called T412 mm-hmm. uh and uh, we've also worked with another lady called uh, uh Janet mm. uh yeah she was also a, a wonderful uh, vocalist that we worked with uh, that we worked with and we also worked with another artist called I Cruise so those are the only three features that we've done mm-hmm. uh uh because uh yeah someone someone may ask why we we don't do a lot of collaborations and it's not that we don't want to it's because probably the time just has not yet come mm-hmm. to work with uh, different people uh because uh you find that uh, sometimes we try to reach out to some people to work with them but then uh because of circumstances it's not able to work out uh but that is why we believe in ourselves and we believe in the way we work I so like you know if uh we want to work with uh who can i say uh uh let's say just just a, a one of the big names that you know in gospel <laughs> 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 yeah for example if you want to work with them and uh, you know we reach out to them and then you know things don't go the way that we want then uh, we're like okay uh so what do we do now we still have our own music we still mm-hmm. have us so let's do us let's mm-hmm. do let's make our own music and that's how we work mm. i see a day when they'll be hunting you down not <laughs> vice versa i once heard uh, i had i once heard um tio savage say that you may ask her for a collaboration but if you're not in tune with her sound then it's not a very big possibility. Mm-hmm. It might sound very choosy and slightly bougie but I I kind of get where she's from because yeah, yeah. if you, you cannot force a mm. synchronization you really True. just cannot. So how do you deal with that? What if someone approaches you and Yeah, uh, I think uh, it's also happened uh, you know with uh, some of the collaborations that we also have been able to look out for. Uh so you know there's there's also like i can say work ethic because um sometimes uh you can you, you know you want to work with someone but then they are not really up to the task mm-hmm. um and we we faced this before because you you want to work with a certain artist so you you, you know you plan the studio time you plan uh the, the yani everything is uh, everything is written down everything is uh, well planned but then when it comes to their part mm-hmm. you feel you find that uh, you know they they're really slacking and they're not uh, able to you know probably keep up with our pace mm-hmm. so sometimes as much as uh, you know it's not really even about the you know us clicking or us vibing mm-hmm. sometimes it's just about uh, probably how hard are you willing to go mm-hmm. yeah 
Hey, go hard or go home. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Is there a time where you've ever felt, and I'm asking you personally, is, is there a time you felt that you are doing way above and beyond everyone else? Like, yes, they're all artists, they participate in the group, but again, they have their own individual uh, talents, so to speak, that still assist in the group. So, you see, for example, w would it be would it be your mandate to make sure a Wato Metafdiwa interview, or uh, we've been paid on time, or the the money, hey money, where <laughs> money can divide people, whoa whoa whoa, hey, it's your job to make sure everyone feels satisfied with what they've gotten. That no one has gotten more than they should. Have you ever felt like you're going way above and beyond everyone else in the group? Well, something like that has never happened mm -hmm. personally to me. And I feel like uh, <clears throat> if it ever happens, I feel like we have already mastered on how we can handle such situations when it comes to finances or money in the group. Because the money in the group, we don't always, uh, for now, because we have not been like, we have not blown to an ex extent whereby we can now be giving each and every person, paying people their money, you mm -hmm. know, so that they can use it personally. So what we do, Mostly is uh, we get the, the we, when we get the finances we put it in our in our account mm -hmm. and then it pushes a project. Ah, that's smart. Yeah. Okay, so it literally comes back to the company yeah. or the empire. Yeah. How does it feel to hear someone has accepted salvation because of something you guys did or because of a vocal or because of a verse? How does that feel? It feels so good, mm -hmm. and it feels so like a. Uh, encouraging and motivating because what we are doing is basically that's the goal when for example if uh, I come to sing to you or I preach for you and then you get saved for me it's a motivation for me it's it's a joy and also I feel encouraged whereby what I'm doing it has an impact and an influence to a certain person or people yeah mm -hmm. Uh, short, very, very short and sweet answer. <laughs> it is a goal and it feels really good. All right, what would you like to tell the fans? I know every time I have this much fun, time is about to run out, I knew it. So what do you want to tell your, your brand new fans, um, your, your day ones? What do you want to say? Uh, to our day one fans, we really appreciate you for sticking with us all this while. I mean, we've been, uh, we've been doing this for uh, several years, uh, for a couple of years. And uh, you know, there's people who've been with us the whole time. And so we really appreciate you to all our new fans who've uh, you know, joined the, ba the wagon. And we also feel much welcome. You know, we have a lot planned. We have a lot uh, coming out. And uh, you know, uh, yeah, just uh, continue sticking with us. You know, this is the royal family and uh, welcome. <laughs> I like that. Oh, is it anyone up to joining? Like if someone was watching and they wanted, oh, I want to be part of that group. They sound so cool. Uh, no, we're not seeking wah, any. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can definitely work with us, but uh, uh, just uh, in a different way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's a very diplomatic answer. I will <laughs> take it. You have something to say? Uh, for me, I guess everything is okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're very brief with your words. Is he always like this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I live, I don't uh, know. Look, your boy <laughs> has you. Your boy really has you. All right, so one more time with the social media handles. And if you can, give me the individuals once too, as well as the two who are absent okay. from the set. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, Prince Crew Empire. Uh, Prince Crew with a K uh, on all platforms. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitter. And uh, personally, mine is main underscore K-E. That's M-A-Y-N-E underscore K-E. Uh, the other one is uh, Telvinsky Kal. That's Telvinsky with an S K Y uh, Kal K A R L. And the end, the other one is uh, Deno Stubborn. So it's D double N O underscore Stubborn. Yeah. And then. Mine is Prince Park <laughs> underscore K E. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again with the briefness. All right. <laughs> Final question what we're asking on socials, which is what is the dumbest thing ever anyone has ever done or said to you? What is the dumbest thing <laughs> anyone has ever done or has said to you? Mm -hmm. Ah, the dumbest thing. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything right now. 
Look at him avoiding <laughs> eye contact. So one of those children that today is asking, uh, they start looking this yeah. way. Uh huh. One of the dumbest <laughs> things anyone has ever said or done to you. The dumbest thing. Um, <laughs> Wait, can I think of something? There was once when my sister was finishing high school. My sister is a lot taller than me, and, and at the time she was a lot happier than me. So she, I think she drastically lost weight after high school. You know, I don't know what kind of transition that usually is. So we meet her friends some random time and then they, they look at her and then I'm like, hey bro, you've stopped eating. And then they look at me like, why are you eating all her food? I'm like, honestly, I am smaller than <laughs> she is. Where am I taking the food? That's, that was really dumb for me. Oh. Yes, but let me just shout you out, people who are uh, talking to us or interacting with us on our social media handle. That's Kate Justice, Ivy Ivy, Eliza Gishira, Benjamin Mogo, Anjali Muroki, Sky T. Karish, Panda Boy, Joki Waweru, Leon Kesh, Tony Cruz, Femins, Mbone, Kefa K3, Magi Mbogwa, Cleo Fast Lukusa, Caroline Makoha, Moravi Gramaxon. Uh, there's Philip, there's Richie Kim, there's Gustavo, Edgar Hanson, Wanyororo, there's Jacob, uh, Kapash, Kuna Forright, Rasbashir Wedo Abusia, Kuna Nzige Rama, there is Racha Jose, there's Pashel Kendi, and a couple of others. So remember the hashtag is Thursday Vibes with Compton. And, and I want to thank you for allowing us into your homes, into your space. Ninge uh, Sema Salamu. Telvinsky. Salam kwa my mom, salam kwa you know all the fans. Mm -hmm. we, yeah, thank you man, thank you. Yeah, we, we love you very, very much and yeah. thank you for being with us the whole time. And Stephanie Ayata and I wish you a fantastic day and fantastic weekend. But Mimi ni takuona pakesho on hashtag social Friday, all right? Meanwhile, do not touch that dial. I told you, White 5 we have a content. You don't want to miss anything. In fact, just let your TV run, okay? So, have a good one. Bye-bye. My king, you mean faithful For everything, I'm so grateful let me give you all the gratitude Father, you are great and full of grace I recall where I come from Did you drop the bill? Let me play him a new strum hey. And you've made me a new being I was nothing when I was beginning And you've given me a new name Hip Hop General, thank you for making me You know what I want and you give me what I need I just thank you for your deeds By your grace, Lord, me ni me succeed Call it God speed, kwa devon ni me succeed Nasi Rudy, ay Give thanks kwa kila kitu that you have It doesn't have to be finance or a big house Man, you're alive now, sika makawa I just wanna thank God for everything I recall I used to pray every, every night and day For the things that I have now I recall I used to ask God to give me class that has given me a wardrobe. Jesus, you've been faithful. You've given me all I need, yeah. I don't take them for granted, the little you have given me, but I'm so grateful. 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 For the peace, I thank God for the love. I, I thank God for the gift of such a body. Give me that. I, I thank God that I woke up in the morning. That's what's up. He always got my back, even when I'm in the dark. I thank God for a home. I know I'm not alone. To so check out what you have, man, but some don't even have. Every morning when I wake up, I give him thanks. I give him thanks, man, man, I give him thanks. You, you complain what you didn't get. If you forget what you have, you will lose it. Now you want it back. Thank God you woke up. Can't you see that roof over your head? Head, clothes in your wardrobe, food on your table, shoes you got labels, others don't even have place they can go, be grateful no matter what, even if the big or small, bless the Lord. I recall I used to pray every, every night and day for the things that I have now. 
I recall I used to ask God to give me class, now he's given me a wardrobe. Jesus, you've been faithful. You've given me all I need, yeah. I don't take them for granted, the little you have given me, but I'm so grateful. 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 Y254. Imagine.